The Senate has passed a tax bill that is so rushed, it's full of last-minute handwritten changes. Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. Here's a live look right now in Washington. It is 2 o'clock in the morning there. The vote just happening moments ago. 51-49, largely along party lines. Not a single Democrat voting in favor of it. The $1.5 trillion plan is a huge win for President Trump. Earlier concessions were made to satisfy a few wavering Republicans, adding in a deduction for individual property taxes capped at $10,000 and reviving the alternative minimum tax. Some Democratic senators tweeted about the crossed out portions and handwritten notes in the margins. They're criticizing the whole process as being overly rushed. The tax plan is about 500 pages long. Many have said that they haven't read it. Not a single member of this chamber has read the bill. It'd be impossible. Some of the pages were completely crossed off, and text has been replaced by handwritten notes. Earlier this week, bipartisan number crunchers said the tax cuts would only spur enough economic growth to cover about a third of the price tag. A family of four earning $75,000 a year would get an initial tax break averaging $2,200. But Democrats point out the savings would be temporary because the tax cuts would expire in a few years. Senator Dianne Feinstein just tweeted, Republicans just jammed through their middle class tax hike. This awful bill was written behind closed doors and introduced only hours ago. Outrageous. And then from Senator Kamala Harris, the tax plan approved tonight by my Republican colleagues is shameful. This is a victory for corporations and the top 1% of Americans, not teachers, not seniors, and certainly not the middle class. Even though Republicans managed to pass this bill tonight, they still need to work out the differences between their plan and the plan that passed the House last month. And then they'll have to vote again on that final product. Now, if that passes, it would bring the first major overhaul of the U.S. tax system in 30 years.